Jordan is going to teach me how to get the wave runner hooked up to the Hummer. Okay, baby, let's go. All right, once you've got your ball uh, hitch close, uh -huh. you want to maneuver the, the trailer yeah. so it's hovering right over it. Okay. And then start lowering so that it settles right under the ball. And feel free to share this on Facebook or okay. on YouTube is how to hook up the hitch. Okay. I will. All right. So, got it. It's, it's resting now on that. And this is spinning loose. It's not resting on, on this at all. Okay. So now I need to swing this up into the up position so it's not going to be dragging on the ground. To do that, you have to pull this bar out because mm -hmm. this is spring-loaded. So it latches in place. Okay. Next, we have to hook this, plug this into the um, um, electrical connector, if you will. So let's get this extracted. Now, usually, it will look. If I can get this off. Usually it'll look like this, and uh, it would then plug into the um, the connector, which should look something like this, but it might not look like that. Um, so I have an adapter in here, if I can get it out. Oh. Yep, that was holding it in. So here, this is the factory um, electrical connector. And I just keep this in here all the time. And it just plugs in. And then it's now it's locked in place. And we can now plug the electrical connectors from the uh, for the tail lights and, and brake lights on the trailer to this jack. And if you look, we have three males. And one female, you have, this doesn't match up, <laughs> so I think I need my other connector. Okay. Is it pausing? Nope. Okay. So we'll switch to this connector, which you see has three female and one male. So it'll match up like that. Okay. And we'll slide that in. Like so. Now that's connected. I can open this now. Oh, this slot, this um, rectangular um, uh, side goes up. Come on. There, slide it in until it snaps. All right, so next step. Final step is to hook up the chains. The chains need to hook onto the tabs that are on either side of the jack. And uh, basically like that. And that helps in case the, um, the ball uh, comes off of uh, the, the hitch receiver. Uh, in case the ball receiver comes off the ball. We will go ahead and latch this down so now it's locked in place and if I was strong enough to lift it I can show you that it's not going to lift off which apparently I was. Uh -huh. um, the uh, hitch receiver I have locked in place with this silver bar. Silver bar actually has a lock built into it and that silver ball bar um, holds the square um, hitch ball uh, bar in the receiver, which is the square rectangular piece. The last part, you really need a friend to help with. 
Am I your friend? You're my friend. Okay. So what I needed to do, I'm going to um, start the, the tow vehicle, and um, I need you to tell me if the left-hand lights come on, okay. turn signal lights on the trailer, and if the right-hand turn signal lights come on the trailer, and if the brake lights come on the trailer. Okay. Yep. Right hand turn signal. Yep. Brake lights. Yep. And we're done. Awesome. Applause. It's all hooked up and ready to go. Oh, did you stop it already? No. Uh, one more thing. Oh, good also to check your, your straps that are... Um, that hold the back end down mm -hmm. to make sure that they're still tight. And these are, are still tight, so the vehicle is ready to go. Awesome, thank you. Thank you for your attention, and have uh, be safe out there. <laughs>